work with you guys to kind of show you the basics of getting started um, either to be a land paddler or just longboarding in general. What we are going to figure out is what foot you put forward when you're getting ready to go on the board. And how we're going to do that is um, a little bit of an abusive way, but we got our good friend here, Stuart, and we are going to actually line up back here. And he's going to give me a nice shove from behind. And whichever foot I step forward with first is how we're going to decide which foot goes forward on the board. See? So I lunge forward with my right foot, so that's what I'm going to do when I actually go to get on the board. Uh, so next up is deciding which size basic is going to be best for you. Um, we generally recommend that they come somewhere between your chin and your eyes, or your foreheads, depending. Um, I myself am 5'5", five five, and I've actually chosen to go with the 5'0 big stick. I could go with the 5'6", but I like the maneuverability of the 5'0", so depending on what style you're looking for or comfort level, you can decide based on that. Now when you step onto the actual board, it's going to add a couple inches to your height, so you want to make sure you take that into account. So you're going to go ahead and use the big stick here to help you get up onto the board. You step up one foot at a time, depending on whichever you feel comfortable with. You're going to want your front foot here to be right behind the front truck, and your rear foot here to be about halfway back or a little bit further. You're going to end up with your feet about shoulder width apart, and as always with anything, making sure that your knees are nice and bent. You're going to place one hand on top, depending on whether you're regular or goofy, you want to adjust it for which arm is going to be in front. So here, if I'm going regular foot, my left arm would be on the top of the stick here, and my bottom arm will be on the shaft here, and then we can just go ahead and start land paddling. So once you're comfortable paddling on your regular side, what you'll actually eventually want to be able to do is switch over to the other side. What this is going to do is going to allow you to get that full upper body workout that we're really looking for. It's going to shape those shoulders, abs, chest, everything. It's just going to make you a stronger rider in general. Heel side turn, and you're going to go in that 